That pitch from Bob King might have been the most meaningful one of the night. People have been fantastic. I, I couldn't ask for more. I wish we didn't have to do this. What he wishes is to be here with his grandson, Mason. I'm not a very patient person. <laughs> I want everything done yesterday. So this last eight months has been terrible. No story we'd write could adequately capture the pain the Martins have had to endure. From Mason's catastrophic injury to his mother, Stacy Martin's death. It's been tough. First of all, my daughter died. And as Bob King mourns his daughter, he continues to make regular visits to Mason in the hospital. They're very hard because he doesn't speak. So you basically go and talk to him, rub his shoulders, just do whatever. But Bob knows his grandson is still in there. He does understand because when Denny told him that his mother had passed, he teared up. So we know he's in there and he hears. So. As we spoke to Bob Wednesday night, fans perused raffle items donated by the Pirates closer David Bednar and the Steelers. The proceeds going to Mason's family. The donation jar is at the entrance. Shirt sale down in the lobby. Even in a rivalry game like this one, fans and players for both schools still share a common goal. That's to do what they can to show their support for Mason and his family. And that was evident even before the first pitch. Both Carn City and Monotaw players and coaches wearing batting practice shirts with Mason's number two on the back. The support we're getting from Monotaw and Carn City in the, the community is overwhelming. Dan Helgert is the executive director of Pullman Park. We just have a soft spot for athletes, so we think it's important to try to give back to his cause. People just come out of the woodwork to help, as all these people have. It's a combination of a lot of people really helping us. Continued support that has showed no signs of wavering. Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.